Hello, creative friends. I recently got sent a top secret package. And when I opened this package, I squealed with joy because I was so excited. And I immediately thought, how have I lived my whole crafty life without this color? Maybe a bit overdramatic, but when you see the color combination I come up with at the end of this video, you are going to fall in love with this color too. All right, so by now you have probably seen the new color plastered all over social media, but I was so excited to get the new color first. So big shout out to scrapbook.com and Ranger for making this happen. If you are going to pick up the new salvaged patina distress color, be sure to check out the links in the description box. I started out by blending the color onto some heavyweight cardstock, first the oxide and then the regular distress ink. I had to see how it reacted with water so I sprinkled a little bit on top and the color did such cool things. I set that aside and I sprayed a little bit of the oxide and stain onto some heavyweight cardstock then flipped some water on top to see how it reacts as I find the ink pads and sprays react slightly different from each other. I sprayed the salvaged patina stain and peacock feather stain side by side as I think they are closest in color and I wanted to see the difference between the two. Salvaged Patina is on the left and Peacock Feathers is on the right. As promised, I'm going to show you one of the color combinations I came up with and how I turned the background into a simple project, so stick with me. I am working on Distress Heavy Stock. I first sprayed a little bit of Ice Spruce and then went in with the Salvaged Patina Distress Spray Stain. I wanted to add a little pop of color so I took a stencil and sprayed Crackling Campfire through it. I sprayed some water onto the cardstock to help the Crackling Campfire move around just a little bit. Right now I am just focusing on making a background. I'm not really focused on making a project or what I'm going to use this for. I just want to create lots of texture and layers on this background and then I can turn it into a project later. I am taking a baby wipe and a stencil and trying to pick up some of that color. This is a really simple way to add just one more layer of texture on your background. Now I am taking a script stamp and some archival ink in Vintage Photo, stamping it randomly onto the background. Here is where I decided to turn it into a project. I took the floral stamp from Dearly Departed from Tim Holtz. I stamped out the image twice. Then I took the stacked tags die set from Sizzix, cut out one of the smaller tags, and I'm using the Distress Micro Glaze to help all of the colors pop. I wanted the floral image to pop just a little bit more from the background, so I stamped it out again and colored it with Salvaged Patina. I added some extra texture and interest by stamping the script stamp randomly on the image. Now I am going to add some splatters with the Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray in white. This is my favorite way to get those really stark white splatters that I love on my projects. I love how easy this project came together after creating the background with Salvage Patina. It is by far my new favorite color and I will be sharing even more projects over on Instagram so be sure to follow me over there. If you want to learn even more mixed media techniques, be sure to check out this playlist right here where I break down the process into easy, manageable steps so you can get the skills you need to start creating with confidence. 